Hi everyone, I'm Moody Boo and I am back with another perfume review. And this one surprised me. Big time. This is a cheapy but an incredible perfume. It's by Yves Rocher and it's called Nouveau Genre. Now, here's the kicker. This is the closest thing. This is just patchouli and tonka. And this is the closest thing to one of my all-time most coveted perfumes that is discontinued also by Yves Rocher and that's Neo Naturna Cocoon. I am so terrified to wear this damn thing. I have a backup bottle too, but I'm gonna wear it right now. I'm not wearing anything. Mm, three sprays, that was overdoing it, but I haven't touched this thing in like a year. Cause I, oh my God, it smells so good. So I'm not gonna do a compare. I'm not gonna do a comparison right now. I am just going to talk about Nouveau Genre by Yves Rocher. So, like I said, this is just patchouli and tonka, but it truly is the closest thing that smells like cocoon. And I'm blown away by that. It isn't the same. It's not quite. Nope, it's not quite, but it's really close. Um, if you like Neonaturna Cocoon, but you haven't been able to find it or don't want to pay $200, whatever craziness that they're going to charge you for it now, you have got to check out Nouveau Genre. I just, I, it's beautiful. It's sweet. It's a bit gourmand. It's like a gourmand patchouli kind of a perfume. This has a, a, a almost a coconut vibe to it. I'm not sure. I did check on Yves Rocher website and they concur with Fragrantica that it's just patchouli and tonka. But this tonka almost has a, a, a sweet kind of chewiness to it. And, and it's got this coconut um, essence to the tonka. I'm assuming it's the Tonka that gives it this coconut vibe and not the patchouli. But the combination is gorgeous. Oh my God. And it, 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 it's, it's, it's a bit juicy. It's a bit chewy. But it also gives almost like it's this coconutty Tonka patchouli leathery kind of a perfume. There's almost a hint of like lambskin, real light, very refined, very expensive leather, just a hint of it in the background. To me, I don't know if anybody else will detect that, but that's what I get with it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna spray some more on. And this is one where it's inexpensive. So you do get just a hint of alcohol blast at the top. Just just a hint of it. But that goes away within a minute. Um, and it's just, I, I don't know if you can buy it in bigger than one ounce bottles. You probably can. I'm not sure why I just bought a one ounce bottle. Probably because I have, you know, lots of perfumes. On Yves Rocher um, website, they do have a full bottle of this and it is $85. This one was $55, worth every penny. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. This patchouli isn't a headshot patchouli, it's the earthy kind, the kind that, this one has just a hint of that wet tobacco leaf kind of a, a patchouli smell to me. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's not dirty. And mixing with that tonka, and that the way they come together and give that almost lambskin hint of leather accord back there and the coconut, it's similar to Cocoon, but it's not quite. And like I said, I'll do a side-by-side -side on them one of these days. This stuff is so good though. 
So I think year round, no issue. It's very cold here right now. Well, for the Pacific Northwest, it's not that cold, but it's still winter. It's done beautifully. Because of that, that hint of coconut vibe it has, I am totally going to wear this in the spring and the summer. I'm going to see what happens because I think you can wear this. I think you can wear it day or night. It's almost too much for day because it's sweet. It's, it's chewy, it's moist, but still got a hint of powderiness to it. I know that's really weird to have both, but it does. It's like the Tonka is chewy and a bit, a bit moist, but the patchouli has a little bit of powderiness to it. Um, so wearing it during the day or to work, you could wear it during the day, but to work, I'm not sure. I, you probably could with one spray. I usually do two sprays. Um, with one spray, you probably could wear it to work, but I'd be careful. Um, I think this is completely unisex. It, it's, it's gourmand, but not too gourmand. It's patchouli, but not too much patchouli. Um, so it's versatile, you know, not only in the time of day you can wear it and the time of year, but I also think who can wear it is very versatile. It has, it can be formal, I think. It has the potential for that. It's absolutely fun. I think it can be very festive and just worn to, you know, family get togethers uh, whenever that happens again. Of course, the frisky is always up to you. <laughs> I would never want to presume your frisky. I just know my frisky. And this has a hint of frisky. I might try this on my husband just to see my response. I haven't tested it on him yet. I mean, to see how he likes it on me. A little earthy, a little gourmand, sweet, um, a little chewy, a little powdery. Wonderful perfume. It's a decent little sprayer too. Nothing wrong with this sprayer. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And the performance is really good, but it is an eau de parfum. So it lasts for me. Oh gosh, I can still smell it after eight hours. Um, maybe even a little longer. It projects really, really well for two to three hours for me with two sprays, um, at least at arm's length. And it does come into about elbows length. I can still smell it anytime I move around. The sillage is wonderful with it. But even at elbows length, it still is doing a really good job. It's working well. I'm going to be checking out more of these less expensive houses because, you know, in this day and age, um, everything going on, unemployment, COVID, tragedy, um, I think it's a lot easier for people if they're going to spend money on a perfume to go for a cheaper one. They'll get more mileage out of that than a spendy one. So I'm going to try to make sure that I, I put a, as many of those kind of videos as I can out there. So wonderful stuff. It really shocked me how close it is to Nina and Turner, but still is a beautiful perfume on its own. I. Pfft, so impressed. And I've tried a couple others from Yves Rocher and I wasn't, you know, they were okay, but they were kind of, you know, they smelled a little inexpensive and stuff. But every once in a while, you got to sniff a lot of frogs before you find a prince. I'm just saying. And this is a prince. All right. So that's about it for this one. Quick and ugly or short and ugly, whatever. Just so you guys know that from now on, I'm going to be doing video responses to your comments. So as much as I can. And if you see on a comment that you have that I've liked it and loved it, put, that means there's a video response that I've done to it. If I haven't commented in, if I haven't typed anything in there to comment um, and just put a like and a love, from now on, that's going to mean that I have done a video response to your comment and it will be upcoming. I have one of those videos done and ready to upload here very soon. It's just much easier for me. And I can't handle the guilt of 
you guys making taking the time to watch my videos and making comments and then I don't get back to you. That just bugs the heck out of me. And so this is my solution. So yay. So all right. And don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. Use your nose. Peace. Did you even see that one? Peace. Ha <laughs> ha.